I'm going to show you how to use three different methods for creating a report in Microsoft Access. The first will just be the typical reports that you do using the reports uh, template. The second will be using VBA or Visual Basic for applications. And the third will actually be using Excel to connect to this uh, Microsoft Access database and uh, do counts that way. So let's start with a data set of employees. So we have their name, their date of birth, their position, uh, and uh, their assigned or gender. And we can do this a number of different ways. So let's, why don't we start with the position? So we can just run some basic counts. What we can do is go to create, We'll start a query and then we'll make a report based on a query. So go to query design, click on the data set. And this is how I like to do it. I like to put the thing I want to categorize. So we'll go to position and we'll add this ID. And then what we'll do is click on totals there. We'll do a count. And then let's run it to see if it works. Great. So you can see we have four of the research assistants and two of these other ones here. And if you want to do a total, you could go like this. Oops, you want to go to sum, then you get your total. If you want to do average and so on. So this is pretty much the, uh, the basic way of counting. And so we'll just save this and then we'll create a report based on that query. Okay, so this is probably nothing new for a lot of people. So this is just probably the easiest way to do a report. Um, you know, you gotta make some tweaks here to the format. Um, you might not want this, or you know, you might want to make this bigger, you know, uh, whatever you want to do. Either way, that's one way of doing it. Uh, yeah, that's looking kind of ugly too, but yeah, you just have to fix that up. So this method's probably known by a lot of people. So here's a different approach. Let's try this using VBA. So why don't we, we'll close this and we'll create a blank report. And let's look at, say, uh, research assistants. Let's see how many of those are. We can create a report like this, a custom report. So what you wanna do is you wanna add a text box like this. And we can call whatever we want. We could just call it, uh, let's call it RA. So you wanna right click, properties, Let's change the name to RA. Now we want to go to event, report event, and then when the report loads, we want it to do something. So go like this, click on the three dots. I want to go to code builder. And this is the uh, VBA area where you enter your code. So we'll go with something like this. So let's make sure our RA thing shows up there. Great, we'll go like this. We'll do a D count or a domain count. And pretty much doing what we did before, we're just writing out the code. Okay, and employees, that's the name of our table. And then uh, what we want is the criteria. So we want the uh, field name is position equals research assistant. Okay, if this was a, uh, a number that we're gonna put in here, we wouldn't have these little single quotes right here. But since this is text, uh, we wanna keep that in there. And so let's double check our code here. Let's close this. And you can just say, Number of research assistants. And let's run it to see if it works. Oh no, we have an error. I forgot to put this here. That's why. 
Now let's try this again. There we go, four, perfect. So I won't uh, go through um, all the different types of employees here, but you get the right idea. So if you wanna do this for data analysts, you do the same thing. Create a text box, uh, maybe DA, you might wanna call it, uh, and uh, do the same domain count. So just to show you here, report, events, onload. And so if you created another text box here, you named it uh, DA for data analyst, you do the same thing here pretty much, except you add it down here, you'd put uh, the, you'd copy and paste this really, and then uh, put uh, DA right there, and then spell out data analyst, and bam, it'll do the same thing. So you could do it like that too. So that's approach number two. Now approach number three is a little unconventional, but um, if you're really good at Excel and you just don't want to deal with this, uh, it's an easy way to kind of customize your reports quickly. Um, everyone has their own way of doing things. I might do it this way or the, the first way, but uh, like I said, uh, it just depends on what you want to do. So why don't we go here? Here's an Excel file. All right, so when we wanna uh, import data from another source, we wanna go to data, get data. And since it's from a Microsoft Access database, we wanna click on Microsoft Access. There's our database. Then we want to put our table, which is called employees. It's looking good. We'll hit load. And there's our data from that table. Now, one thing you want to do is if you want this to re uh, report to update anytime your data changes, you're going to have to go here and right click properties. And it's really important that you click this here. So refresh data when opening the file, hit OK. OK, just save it to be safe. And so you can do a number of things here. Uh, let's say we just want to count research assistance again. So type out research assistance. OK, and then we'll do something like this. We'll just do a, a, a count if. Okay. And it's going to highlight this whole thing and then it'll, uh, even if this grows, even if there's 10 more new people, it'll still uh, cover all of the positions. So put a comma here, research assistance. And if this adds up to be uh, four, we did it right. Oops, I didn't do something right there. Oh, it's a research assistant. Uh, okay, there we go. So four, there we go. That's what we do. So that's uh, three different ways of doing this. Uh, you know, sometimes you might want to do a mixture, um, but um, I've found that all three have their own benefits. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions.